It was a case of alleged document forgery brought before the House Committee on Public Petitions by the White Lane British School, Abuja, against First Bank PLC. This British School is represented by Dr. Francis Wunfo. That is the... Sorry, the what? My name is Dr. Wunfo Francis. For it to prove actual forgery was committed, the committee probed into the role played by Aegis on the transfer of ownership of the said land from Francis Ibe to Dr. Francis Wofo and also the CBN who was accused of not acting for over six months when the petitions was sent to it. The CBN in its defense said that any action taken when the case was still pending was subjudiced, hence its refusal to commit itself in the case. The verifiable means of identification of the of the ability or the owner of the property issue. You must bring all original documents that go with that property for citing for citing. Now the bank, if it is a mortgage, there has to be a communication from the bank saying that this person was this social property to us and this are the documents. I want to that person I want you to vary that directive for us. To how much? One year? Um, not, not at all, Mr. Chairman, sir. To what? Please, for now, the CBN does not investigate, um, you know, forgery or forgery of signatures or forensic examination of documents. All these are matters that are within the purview of the police and the security agencies. For now, please, we will want the CBN to remain as an observer in this matter pending when this issue of forgery is sorted out. If at the end of the day, First Bank is found to be wanting, we will report back and regulatory directives will be given and sanctions will be give, you know, taken out if there is any. The committee was however not too impressed with the roles played by both institutions in the matter. You don't look at us, don't go into whether it was forged or not. Just say the procedures we are followed or we are not followed. Don't go into forgery. You don't have the competence to do that. But look at what are the procedure from your documentary evidence and all what not, whether they are in order. That's what you need to do. So you can do that and let us have it within seven days. Person comes and says, look, I didn't sign any document. That is his word against your word. We are going to see the documents now. There was another thing that he said that he was never served with court processes. I'm, so, I'm shocked. So if he was not served with court processes, how come would the how, what was the so when you applied that the judgment be set why why was it not set aside? Would you go and eject, take steps to eject them from the school when the judgment said that you are not supposed to even to be visible in the administration, not to, not, not to even traumatize the student? Why would you? Why would you go and when in the face of the fact that there was you are supposed to, to give effect to the judgment, you are supposed to sign some kind of sharing formula. So as to liquidate the loan. So why would you, in the same breath, go and then try to take physical possession of the school? It was, however, a heated argument from the petitioner and respondent with claims and counterclaims from both sides. In my school, when they came with three truckload of police, that they are giving the judgment against me. I didn't go to court before the judge. I didn't know that they're going to court. From there, we now went to court. What they got was what they call ex parte order. Yes, those are, those, I mean, those are injunctions released, not the judgment. Yes, uh -huh. then you engage so, a lawyer. They are now, are now engaged a lawyer from there. Your lawyers file processes. We, when they went to court, my lawyer was very, very categorical that Franz Lee was not served. Wait, did your lawyer file processes in court before the judgment? He filed, yes, sir. And the court gave a judgment. They gave a judgment. So you, you cannot be heard that you are not aware that it was a court matter? Uh, one of the days, I got a paper to say that uh, I met even the Please. lawyer. Uh, I will beg of you, we don't have plenty of time. In the next five minutes, I'll be out of here. Can you tell us as it affects the land? That's, what, that's exactly what I want to say now. A lawyer told me that I came before him. He said he, come, he came from uh, First Bank that I came before him and signed off the land to uh, First Bank. And I said, I don't know First Bank. I've never done business with them. I've never appeared before them. They forged my signature, forged the signature of my first son, who has not seen the, who, who doesn't live in Nigeria the past 22 years. And 
he couldn't have come in to come and uh, sign paper for you to sign a tripartite agreement. That I didn't How do that. Of that separate suits, separate suits with different numbers, with different suit numbers. They went to court. Yes, because they are not fancy. The school is not the building. The school is are the teachers, the pupils, the materials. You can always operate a school from anywhere. We are seated here today because this is the room in the National Assembly where this committee is sitting. If tomorrow pupils come into this place, a, 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 a flat board is set up and we be, begin to teach, it becomes a school. Now, he's claiming that there was no legal mortgage because the signature was forged. And he never saw that document until the receiver came to That cannot be true. Well, uh, let, let's, let's, Mr. Let's, no, Shama, no, I wait. have evidence to show hey, that hey, wait. Away don't, don't from even, the beginning. No, no, wait. Determined to unravel the mystery in the case, the chairman ruled that the sitting be adjourned to the 26th of March to allow the CBN and AGs for documents of its investigation and findings on the case to the committee. This, according to him, will enable the committee to make an informed recommendation to the Committee of the Whole. Emmanuel Ejene, PTV News, Abuja.